back to my channel if you're new my name is Jana today we are going to be evaluating and curating my closet so this is going to be a vlog sale my first vlog sale since I started YouTube and since I started my collection basically I have sold one item I haven't sold any other items since I got and since I started my luxury collection back in 2016 so my collection has grown so so much especially in the last year or two I think it especially since I started my YouTube channel honestly it's something about YouTube, you know? Like, if you want to save money, don't start a YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyways, if you know me and if you've followed me since the beginning of my channel, I always think about my purchases for a very, very long time just because these items are so expensive and I don't want to waste my money on things that I don't think I will use or like. So the only th reason why I am letting these popular items go is because I just don't use them enough and I think once I get other bags in my collection I will use those more than this so that's why I'm letting these go first before I purchase other items I feel like I have a set budget in mind for my luxury collection and I don't want it to go overboard and I want to introduce new styles and new brands to my collection I don't want to just stick with Louis Vuitton and Chanel so I mean I do have a Celine bag but I do want more so if you are interested in any of these items, just message me on Instagram. I will like send you more pictures and we'll talk and things like that. And I also need to verify you that you are not a scammer and that you are following me and also a real person. So like I said, I am letting these popular items go just because I'm not a collector. I like to use my things in my collection. And if I'm not using them in like a year or a few months, then I'm just going to sell it off to a better home. Some people have the budget to just collect. And for me, I don't. I don't need to prove anything to anyone, to be honest. I, you don't need a certain type of bag in your collection for you to consider it a luxury lover or a luxury bag lover. So if I'm not using things to its fullest potential, I am just going to let them go. So when I take a look at my whole collection, I like to look at all of the different purposes that I use my bags for. So I do have two wallet on chains from Chanel and I have no regrets on that whatsoever. It's a style that I absolutely love and I use all the time. And I just thought one for the spring, summer and one for the fall and winter months because I don't like wearing black bags in the winter. And because it is lambskin, it is pretty delicate so whenever I do wear my bags in the summer I'm like a lot more harder on my bags so for my non-luxury handbags I have the Roots one which is the brown one and the Tory Burch one I absolutely love these two I don't really wear them too too much but I would never get rid of them just because the red one is a pop of color and if I'm going to a nice dinner or like a holiday dinner I will use that and it's absolutely gorgeous and the Roots one is actually the same size as the Gucci Soho Disco I've measured them and I never thought I would get the Gucci Soho Disco just because I already have the Roots one I also have the Palem bag that you already know. I absolutely love this one as well. This one's just a little bit more dressy, but if I want a pop of color and I want more space, I will use the Palen because it's just a beautiful bag and the quality is amazing. Actually, after getting my Palen bag, my friend saw it and she got two, one for her and one for her sister-in-law and they absolutely love it as well. So highly recommend these as gifts as well as like personal use. As for my Alma BB, this was my very first luxury handbag, so I will never ever get rid of it. The style is classic and it is also understated because of the Damia Ben pattern and it is versatile. I use it all the time as a handheld, crossbody, over the shoulder and just a all around good bag to have in my collection and every time I wear it I do get compliments. The only thing is I did have to get a adjustable strap from Etsy but I love it and have been using it all the time. 
I even got it hot stamped with my first initial and that's when you know it is a forever bag and I will never let it go. And last but not least is my one and only wristlet, my clutch. I bought this in 2017, I think, or 2018, I don't really remember. But I absolutely love it when I go to weddings or wherever I want, to be honest. Sometimes I do use it just casually, but I'm not really a clutch or wristlet kind of person. So I end up using this very, very sparingly but it's not as expensive as my mini rectangular so this one was like $400 so I can afford to just keep this in my closet and use this whenever I need to the first item that I do want to sell is my Rosalie coin purse in the monogram with the rose ballerine interior I love this so much the only reason why i am selling this is because i only use this spring and summer because of the color and during the spring and summer months i only use a card holder and my fanny pack or just really small bag so i can just grab and go i don't really like to carry too much stuff in the summer or the spring because it's so hot and humid i still love this wallet so much it fits so much stuff but this i've used maybe less than 10 times since i got it but i love how many compartments it has there's slip pockets and it's organized and that's what i love about it but I do use this type of wallet more in the fall and spring and I already have my key pouch in the on front here it is um, and I use this one so much more and it has a chain so I can attach my keys on here but I still really really like it I wish I had the budget for it to just keep in my closet and just use it whenever I want but I don't so Rosalie coin purse. I'm so sorry. Okay, so now our two bags that I do want to sell. I think a lot of people are going to be really upset, but don't be mad <laughs> because I have my reasons, okay? So the first bag, I don't think any of you are expecting this to be honest. The other one you are expecting because I got a ton of messages already, but this one, I'm so sorry. I, I just... I think I just need to apologize in advance and it is the Nano Speedy. I think I just realized that I'm not a monogram type of person. I, as much as I love this bag, I, as much as I think it is adorable, I absolutely love this bag. Like, don't get me wrong. It looks super cute. I just never feel comfortable wearing this. And if I do want to wear a monogram piece in the future, I do have the pochette accessoire that I recently got. And I can wear that as a bag, which I actually have been doing, believe it or not. In my unboxing, I was like, like, no, I was so against it, but now I'm just like, okay, I do really like it as a bag. That one I do use as a pouch, as a catch-all to my tote bag. That one is just more versatile to me and my lifestyle. But yeah, I just don't think that I'm a monogram type of person. I am warming up to it. I just think monogram is really distinguishable and it just makes me nervous whenever I wear it out maybe i'll change my mind in the future but right now in my life i just don't think this is worth keeping i much prefer the celine pico bag and when i got the bag organizer for it i was like oh my gosh this these two are way too similar for me to keep both of them in my collection and since i got my celine nano luggage bag i have been obsessed with celine like you don't understand my love for celine right now it is just like through the roof so i am going to be selling this with the samorga bag organizer and also the zimuni organizer that i got the samorga one is 1.2 millimeters felt and the zimuni is two millimeter felt so it really depends on what you're feeling that day do you want a little Little bit more structure in your bag or do you want it to be a little bit more squishy you will also get the 16 millimeter strap you can either remove the straps like i was going to until i decided it wouldn't be a part of my collection um and i even got like little clasps for it so if you want this bag and you plan on removing the straps you can also message me about the clasp so i will probably give those to you too just because I don't have any more use for it anyways 
but if you decide to take off the strap you can use this on here and it looks so cute i love it so so much oh my god this one unfortunately but i'm excited for it to have a new home and i would just want my celine bag <laughs> And then the last item that I want to sell and it will be no surprise to anybody here because if you watched my handbag collection and also my least and most used bags of 2021, you will know that this one made it to the list of least used and you know what? I have decided to sell it. This item is already... I will message the person but I got a ton of messages from you guys saying that you do want this bag and I was not expecting it at all for some reason I don't know I just I get really nervous whenever I sell things because I want to keep it within Canada but I know so many of you guys are from the states but I just don't want you guys to pay customs and duties and taxes and everything but if you really want this bag like obviously you can pay whatever price you want right and that is my chanel mini rectangular in the caviar black chevron with the edge stitching this is a gorgeous gorgeous bag every time i look at it every time i wear it i do really really like this bag but i barely used this bag since I got it. So I think the reason why I don't use it as much is because it is really expensive and I dress very very casually and even though I did get this specifically for casual like caviar, black, silver hardware, it's just something about the shape and the style that makes it dressier which I do really appreciate because it does look fantastic but I just cannot justify leaving this on my closet for like 80% of the year and just using it like five times or ten times I've used it like less than ten times since I got it and that's an issue for me because it's just way too much money for me to justify just leaving it on my shelf I know a lot of people just buy and collect and put it on their shelves but like I said before I use my bags so you will get with this the Zumuni organizer this one is two millimeter felt and then the one I have inside the bag which is from Samorga and that is 1.2 millimeter felt for all of these you'll get the original packaging the box the dust bag the uh, ribbons and all that stuff I do keep everything so just in case I do want to sell like here this video is very very long already because I needed to explain myself for some reason why I wanted to sell these items so I put all my stuff away but I just wanted to add this one thing is I remember talking to one of my friends on Instagram and she said something that really stuck to me and I've been thinking about for a very long time and she said we don't always have to buy the things that we like and that just like really stuck with me because as I'm letting these popular items go as much as I do like them it's just not worth keeping for me because I do want to add other things in my collection so because I do like them, it doesn't mean I have to keep them in my collection as a forever piece. I tried them out, it didn't work out, and it's time to move on. And that's why I'm letting these items go. So I am usually one of those people who says out with the old and in with the new. That is the same thing with my closet. Whenever I buy new stuff, I like to just curate everything in my closet and donate them so i have things on my wish list instead that i want more than these items and i think i will use more than these because they're understated and i'm just more of an understated person and i think i like discovered that about myself in 2021 but i am happy with my decision about letting these items go before adding new ones in just because number one i don't have an unlimited budget and number two it would be easier for me to let things go before i purchase new ones just in case i'm like oh i'm, I'm just gonna keep that so you know what i mean like i don't want to spend too too much money but this is all trial and error with all of my my luxury items I'm just buying luxury in general there is no way for you to tell beforehand if those items will work for you or not it's when you get the item and you start using it for more than a month 
and if it doesn't work for your lifestyle and if it doesn't work for you I would just sell these off just because they're just way too expensive to keep in my closet so I hope nobody gets offended or upset that I am leaving letting these go but after a year with these items I just think it doesn't fit with my lifestyle and in my collection so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye